Hello there. Welcome back to the garden. How's your garden doing? Ours looks good. I'm <laughs> pleased with it. I'm really pleased with it. I'm really happy. I just want to say hello. We've got quite a few new subscribers. So hello, welcome. Nice to have you along for the journey. I'm not very professional. Don't like doing it, really. However, <laughs> we do our best. So, hanging baskets that I did, what, a couple of weeks ago now? Mm -hmm. They're doing all right, settling in. The geranium hasn't grown much, which was supposed to be my tall plant, but <laughs> hey-ho. Dahlias are through, there and there. And in one of these, I spotted, and I can't remember which one now, a spike from the calla lilies. No, of course, I can't see it now. The eyes are shot. Hay fever's got me today. So. And a good meal at the Harvest the Restaurant. Oh, yeah, we're stuffed as parsons. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's got smoke going because I really can't see very well at all. Or is it me? It's just you. Is it just me? All right, OK. <laughs> Lilac is finally blooming. It took a while and I thought it was because I'd repotted it. More dahlias. This rose doesn't look very happy at all. Doesn't look happy at all. It may well find its way to the bin. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah. A couple of summer pots I've done. Dianthus, can't remember what that's called. <sighs> Verbena. I think that might be Verbena, and that begins with an N, I'm sure it does. <laughs> yeah. That's the chocolate mint that I stuffed in there. Aqualegia, but I think the flower's done now. And alisum. And uh, hibiscus, that's all getting ready to do its thing. The clematis looks lovely. Really, really pleased with that this year. And I noticed that there's a couple of flowers out on that one now. And I have a new clematis, don't I, dear? You do. Somebody bought me a new one. Well, we kept walking the dog past this house where it had a, an amazing purple, purple kind of one. clematis. Mm. So we found, well, so we found it. And it ended up on my eBay basket. <laughs> <laughs> it did. As everything seems to. Yeah. So we've spent a fortune on plants this year. There it is. Yeah, that one. Go on, how so do you say it then? Coco nest. Cocono. Cocono. Oh, I don't know. Cool, clematis. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a double, mm -hmm. double clematis. It's tiny, it's there, look. But it's got new shoots and everything, so it'll do its thing. I've got some agapanthus come up there. And I can't remember what I put in there, but I do notice I've got a spike. Oh, do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? <laughs> Marie gave me a, um, a pot of lilies. Yes. And I chucked them in there when they'd finished. They're coming back, look. <laughs> Only two. There was three, but there are two there, definitely. I thought, what's that growing there? And then it suddenly dawned on me. <laughs> yeah. This is smothered in buds by the look of it, the hydrangea. And so is the wajila. Look at all the buds in there. Yeah, it's going to give a good show this yeah. year. And your jasmine's gone crazy again. And I noticed there's a few bits of pink on there as well, I could yeah. see, on the buds. Yeah. Nothing on the honeysuckle yet. Might be too that. early for them. Uh, They're all going crazy, though. And yeah. considering we've had so much rain, it's been so boggy. Yeah. It is surprising. Yeah, the grass suffered, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. even the conifer. I mean, it's, you'd yeah. expect that to rot out, wouldn't it? You'd it's have thought so. I did lose some heucheras. But I did take cuttings of others and I've planted those over there. But don't the hostas look fabulous under the Acer? They've been fed with something that's supposed to stop them being eaten. Mm. It's supposed to make them not taste very nice, but there are a few holes I see. Yeah, done well. And all the stuff you can see on the garden is my chucking about of uh, garden manure and some sand. Just yeah. to take some of the moisture out of the Well, soil just to try to. We're trying to amend the soil, aren't we? And look at your bush again. My unruly bush, yeah, it gets more unruly every year. It does. It needs to be a bit chopped, yes. I think, at it the top. It does need a bit of a trim. It does. I did <laughs> trim, 
the Acer mm. because they were growing into each other. So I did give it a bit of a trim and I tried to raise the canopy so that I can walk under it with the um, lawnmower. But it's so gorgeous, I don't want to do too much damage well, to it. that was in the pot and didn't look that great. No. And now it's in the garden. I know. That was one of them cheap spindly things from either Aldi or Lidl. Mm. And I, I see the cistus is in bud as well now. Yep. In there. And then we've got a bit of a colourful back end. We've got hosta there which is doing really well in that pot. Mm -hmm. And that's not been touched, look. No holes on there. And the azalea, the pink azalea. This was a skimmier, a white one. You bought me it. Because I had a red one and I didn't like it. So I gave that away and you bought me a white one. I don't know what's wrong with it. But I do notice there's a new growth bit just there. So hopefully it will be all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are the cuttings that I took from others when I lost those ones. Not those. They were already in the pot. This, I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it might be some sort of euonymus. Could be a hebe. I thought it was a hebe. It could be a hebe. It was in the hanging basket. Um, can I just point out all of the buds on here? This is the white one and it really failed last year. And I told it, if you don't perform this year, you're going. Look at it, it's smothered. Mm. Yeah, that's not doing well. So I think we need to have it forward a bit. Need to mm -hmm. bring it out a bit so it's getting a bit more light. And the eucalyptus is just, well, it's followed the sun. Yeah, it's just gone, hasn't it? <laughs> Yeah. It's just gone. Yeah. yeah. Just gone that way. Over here somewhere. Yeah. This has done well again. Yeah. The olive tree. The olive tree that I thought was dead. Yeah. Yeah. And my yeah. monkey puzzle, which was a Your tiny monkey. little thing. Yeah. When I first got it. I mean, it's, it's less slow growing, but it's, it's massive. Oh, now. but it was tiny. It was, um, what, a foot tall when I got mm. it? Because they're so expensive, aren't they? But um, that's still going to run out of space. <laughs> it is. That needs a trim, I think. It's supposed to be a globe. It's a pittosporum, like your bush, mm -hmm. but it's supposed to be a globe. That hosta doesn't look so good. That's being shredded. Mm. So I might give that a bit more of the feed. And the bamboos, I mean... <sighs> that really were... does need to be thinned out, doesn't yeah, it? They were twigs when we got them. They, they were. were. Now, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. This looks beautiful again. I've pulled that out. And Acer. That's Acer, yeah. That, that's coloured up beautifully. And this... Fluffy, furry thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. And we have peaches again. Yeah, they'll come to nothing. The birds No, the what, birds have them before we do. Yeah. Yeah. This has been in flower all winter. So I'm loath to cut it back because it's still flowering. But everything's doing so well. This was a viburnum. And that had the big white flowers on this year. It was the first year it's ever flowered, so I was pleased with that. What? This is my calla lily. <laughs> what? That? And there. Oh, OK, they're coming yeah, through. Yeah, so they are coming through. Coming yeah. through the metal of a love a love lisk. Yeah. There we go. And I think that is lilies. Oh, and something else. I put some gladiolus at the back. Look here. Okay. There, there, and there's two there. Mm, coming through. Yeah, coming through. So I'm quite chuffed with that. I can't remember what that is. A Veronica. That's a Veronica. I've got a lot of Veronicas. I like the Veronicas. I think that is one of them um, tiger lilies. Yeah, we'll soon find out when it grows. Yeah, yeah. And that's your daisies again. Yeah, my daisies are kind of going mad. Yeah. <laughs> they love it here. They do. <laughs> Now, what's in that pot? Calla lilies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's... And that's a hebe behind, I assume? Yeah, that's a hebe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one of your um, yuccas oh, coming yuccas, through yeah. there. So that needs and, to be... And that right at the back there, let me just get in. That there, I know it looks nice and green and it's flourishing and everything. That's, um, that's an offshoot of that. Yeah, it's a pain. It's one of the roots has come up. From <laughs> it's the tree. It's a new tree. Yeah. Which is nice for the environment, but unfortunately yeah. we just don't want it. Loads of buds on this hydrangea as well. It's 
glam rock, this is called. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but look at this. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Best it's ever flowered. That is. <sighs> Can't remember. <laughs> It'll come to you in a minute. It will come to me. I can see that's a hookah because... That's a hookah, yeah. There's a, there's a thing yeah. Down there. This is what we bought when we went to Stamford and there was that thing going on in the meadows. Mm. Can't oh, remember yeah. what it's called, but yeah, that's another one of those over there that I've forgotten. Hibiscus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a pink one. That's a white one. That's not a Mexican orange. Mexican orange, orange blossom, blossom, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. And the pots that I did today, they're yeah. looking a bit better now because when I watered them, they just went. Pfft. That was the last video. Well, watch the rotary because I just nearly took my yeah. head. <laughs> And last year I put a couple of calla lilies here and here. There's one coming through. I can't see another one, mm -hmm. but yeah. I had a spare delphinium after doing the pots. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming along. And it is coming along. So I've got um, alliums here that are growing. Mm. Oh, I think there's another... Um... Oh no, well, I don't think that is a that's, um, not, a that's not a yucca, so that's something different that then. It looks like one of the uh, lilies. Oh, it could Other be. Lilies. It could well be. Well, we'll see, won't we? And that's it. And there's a little geranium sitting there. Yeah, I had an odd one of those, so I stuck it in a pot, and that was a cutting off of a. Um, begins with S, not the Veronica's, the other ones. I want to say stevia, but that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like a Veronica anyway, with the spikes. Mm. Yeah. And it was a cutting. And of course, it disappeared over winter. And it's just starting to come back. So, yeah, there you go. And then the other hanging basket. And we're back to where we started. Mm. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the garden this year. Just Good. waiting for everything to come up and flower. You get some decent days like today. Yeah. Not too much silliness going on. No. Mm. And it shouldn't be too long. So there you go. So what's that Saturday at the beginning of May? Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. Yep. First week of May. Yeah. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our garden. Hope yours is doing better than mine, especially your grass. Mine's in a real sorry state. But there you go. Right. Enjoy the long bank holiday weekend. Let's hope the weather's good to us. See you next time. Bye. Kind of missing how we kicked it off.